Damon here. As promised, uh, I managed to get hold of some of the new for 2021 Charvels, uh, Jacksons, Gretches, uh, all the good stuff. So um, I've posted a couple of uh, vids of me playing this beauty, uh, this wonderful Charvel SoCal uh, 22 fret HSH in duck egg blue. Look at that for a finish. Oh yes, sexy as. Um, yeah, I did a couple of like rock play alongs, sounded absolutely killer. And what's really interesting is that I have got uh, another one, Charvel, coming next week with the natural body. So we'll see how that sounds in comparison. But uh, very quickly, I've done some playing examples. I've done clean uh, through the basement, my lovely 59 basement, and then some crunch stuff with some pedals. Um, I picked up a Keeley Tone Workstation, which is just killer man really good so i've used that as well and i have used the wonderful evh stealth for the more full-on rocky kind of sound so i think the thing about charvel is that i think a lot of us think that it's an 80s rock guitar it's a metal guitar this guitar does come uh, in slime green uh, which obviously <laughs> alludes to a certain green meanie guitar so I'm, i think everyone's very excited about seeing those and they should be heading to your stores fairly shortly but I've got the duck egg blue one which is a killer killer color um, but yes it sounds amazing through the EVH head uh, the rockier stuff the heavier stuff it sounds wicked but you could take this guitar to just about any kind of gig and it will work beautifully um, no one makes better necks than Charvel I don't think um, compound radius 22 frets uh, jumbo frets it's got the EVH adjuster at this end of the neck so really super easy to tweak if you're using it uh, gig in and the you know the it gets hot or it gets cold really really easy to set up um, just plays like an absolute dream uh, we've got Floyd as I say HSH uh, two Duncan distortion humbuckers and an SSL 6 hot uh, strap pickup in the middle uh, five way so we have obviously all the way that way bridge humbucker on its own bridge and middle. Interestingly, the middle position is these two coils, uh, then middle and neck, and then the neck humbucker all on its own. Um, these pickups are really, really surprised me actually, because, um, and again, maybe it's that perception thing that we think that a Duncan distortion humbucker just is for dirty tones, but clean, it actually sounds really spankingly good as well. So um, you could take this to a rock or metal gig, obviously, uh, we know that, we can do this, it's really super easy to play, grind, loads of sustain, loads of bite, but through the pedal for more of a classic rock vibe, it does that beautifully as well. Uh, if you remember the, the Charvel Henrik Denhaag signature model was one of the best uh, sort of classic rock metal guitars that I played last year. This is a similar kind of beast. Alder body, like I said, um, so Alder little bit more mid-range generally uh, than Ash. As I say, all of the years that I've worked at Fender, um, Ash-bodied Strats, um, recreations of the early 50s guitars, and actual early 50s guitars, the Ash-bodied ones do tend to have a little bit more of an airy top end, a little bit more open, a little bit more presence, where Alder seems to just focus the mid-range a little bit more, which one on a guitar like this, you know, with these humbuckers through an out a loud amp, is a really really good thing because it does seem to not have quite as much real top end presence but just focuses the tone a little bit more in the mids which is maybe what you want when uh, you're playing rock and metal stuff um, but like I say you know if, if you've never done it if you've never tried a Charvel go and give them give one a play at the moment I think they are making some of the most playable some of the best finished best sounding and most tonally versatile guitars out there. You know, I'm yet to pick one up uh, that doesn't play or sound great. And the, the addition of, of the little things like the EVH uh, adjuster here is just killer for anybody who takes their guitar all over the place, chucks it in the back of a car, leaves it in venues or studios or, or, or just at home. And if it gets hot, it gets cold, it's great. So a complete plethora, if you will, uh, a smorgasbord of clean, crunchy, and lead tones you can elicit from this fine beast. Okay, so here's some playing examples. Like I say, the clean stuff, 
uh, is through the 59 basement. Uh, then we've got the, the crunchy stuff with the Korg. Korg? That's a lie. Keely Tone Station. <laughs> um, and there's a little bit of, uh, there's a bit of delay in there. Uh, but that's just about it. And a tiny little bit of uh, chorus at, at some point as well. And then the full on lead stuff is through the EVH Lunchbox Stealth which is wicked. Okay guys, have a listen, see what you think. Uh, there's gonna be another load of Charvel stuff coming next week. Uh, and I've also got the wicked uh, X series uh, Jackson Dinky with active pickups there as well, which again is a killer guitar. So we're gonna do that as well. Okay, have a listen, see what you think. Cheers. <laughs>
is the um, 2021 HSH Duck Egg Blue Charvel SoCal um, killer sounding guitar as I say 22 frets ebony board all the body HSH and as you can hear there you can get everything from spanky funk jazzy country clean stuff right through to real full-on I'm detuned it uh, drop tuned it because it's got Floyd but obviously you can if that is your thing okay thank you very much for watching uh, my name is Damon. Subscribe and like and tell your friends if you can. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Nearly there. So please, please help me out. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you soon. Cheers.